Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. This is Arvind from Merit Pros. Let's get started. Maven report generation, Maven Surefire report plugin. Don't get confused with the Maven Surefire plugin and Maven Surefire report plugin. You can ask me like, uh, both seems to be the same, but there is a considerable difference. There is a considerable difference. So usually what happens is like, uh, Maven Surefire, as, as I've shown you in our uh, demo over here, it generates two files, a TXT file and an XML file. So what does a Maven do basically is like, it will parse these two items, an XML file and a TXT file. It will parse it, it will read it, and it will be storing a web version of it. So whatever we have seen over here, this report like the index.html, this particular report, it is the third party report, your test engine XML's report. But Maven by default, it has its own reports. So how to generate its own reports? So basically for that only we have it something, two different goals. So whatever we did in our command line, the previous thing, Surefire test, instead of that, we are going to use it as a Surefire report colon report. This is the one. But again, for this to happen, you need to be using something called a reporting tag inside your pom.xml. So without the use of reporting tag, your Maven Surefire report plugin will not function. Simple as it is. So you can ask me the difference. What is the difference between the Maven Surefire plugin and Maven Surefire report plugin? Maven Surefire plugin will consolidate your Maven reports as well as your third party reports, your test ng, your cucumber and anything. But Maven Surefire report plugin is default for your Maven. Okay, Maven will generate its own report. So that report, you can only view it with the help of your Surefire report plugin. And also, in order to use that particular stuff, we need to uh, again download it from your Maven Central repository. Okay. Maven Surefire report plugin. And then search for it. Simple. So you got the one, so click on it. So again, the same version, okay? And one advice for you is like whatever is, we have used it uh, over here inside the pom.xml, your uh, Maven Surefire version, try to reuse the same version as well. Don't try to go for a lower version or for a higher version, just Surefire report plugin also should be on the same version. So as I said you, like let me show you how it exists. Okay, so we need the reporting plugin. So just uh, let me copy this entire structure and explain it to you. Okay, just a minute. Yep. And one more thing, don't try to put it inside the build. Okay, a lot of people will have them or make this mistake just put it outside the belt because your reporting is again a tag which should be existing only in the project structure not inside the build structure okay make sure that is done because if you put it uh, uh, inside the build obviously it will throw even error okay so be more cautious on it so uh, again like maven surefire report we are having it okay and in order for the maven surefire report to function well we need the maven site plugin as well okay in our recent time this is of more usage and one more plugin that we also require is like maven info report plugin i'll tell you this why we need this okay once i run it and show you what is getting functioned okay so these three plugins are mandatory or these three plugins are interdependent on each other for your reporting purpose so make sure you get all these three plugins and put it inside your pom so whenever you you put new stuff inside your pom and save it it gets saved over here but obviously you need to do a maven clean okay so you need to first right click on the project and do a maven update project because we are telling the project that we have updated the pom so we are updating the project and try to do a maven clean you can very easily you can do it go to project clean select your project okay by default it is selected clean that's it and again let's try to do a maven update so what does the Maven clean do is like basically it cleans the temporary memories. That's it. Simple as it is. 
okay so now we have uh, we have uh, this maven update now let's go to the command prompt now let's see like say let's try to do a maven install which is going to run your script and install the plugins and do all the stuffs preliminary stuff okay so mbn install so that's going to be running your test case as well as your uh, report generation okay simple as it is quite simple so uh, one more thing whenever you are going to do this particular stuff right so i would advise you to do a mbn site so this is going to uh, maybe after this I'll tell. You. Don't worry. So MVN site. If I hit it, let's see what happens. So you can see it is starting to download few stuffs. Okay. So what it is downloading? Basically, all the jar files dependent for your uh, report plugin, your site plugin, and your info report plugins. For all this, whenever you run it, your project, so on your project, whatever is available, everything will be pulled in by your Maven only with the help of these three things. So what are those three things? Your uh, Maven... Okay, let's go. Maven Surefire Report Plugin, Maven Site Plugin, and Maven Project Info Plugin. So based on this only, like it's going to pull all your project details into your Maven. Okay, simple as it is. So it is running. Okay, let's see. Let's wait for a couple of uh, seconds and see what happens. Uh, it's a one-time operation because like uh, it's trying to download it for first time. So that's why it's taking some time. That from the next time it will be more faster. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your test is getting run. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Now the reports are getting generated. After you run your test case, your reports are getting generated. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay. It's getting downloaded. Yep. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. It should be done. Few more seconds, please. Hold on. So always just a small tip for you in the meanwhile. So always whenever you add your reporting, so MVN site is going to perform these stuffs. So it is going to create a site or it's going to create a website version of your report. Simple. As you can see it over here, generating the Surefire report, maven Surefire plugin based on this one. Okay. So this is what I require. I usually check it out. So again, you also try to check this one, whether it is trying to create it, generating it. So quite easy. It is getting generated. Okay. I think it's like it's taking a couple of seconds. Maybe since it's the first time, it's taking the couple of seconds to complete it out. Okay. Once it is completed, it will commit as success, build something like that. Okay. So let's wait for a couple of more seconds. In meantime, any uh, questions so far here? You can just post it in our chat. Okay, it's trying to create it. Okay, no problem. I have a similar project created already. Let me show you that one. Okay, let's not waste time on this. Let me show you that particular project. Okay, don't worry. It is taking some time. That's it. Okay. So don't worry about this warnings. So warning doesn't matter. So if there is any error, so that's only of our consideration. Okay, just a second. Where is the sample report? Let me show you. Yep, it's over here. So once you run that particular Maven site, right? I wanted to badly show you that one. Yep, this is the one. <clears throat> once you run that particular command, let me see it. It's still generating. Okay, it's quite slow. So no problem, no problem. That doesn't matter. You can also try it in your machine. So it will be 100% working, but it takes some time. That's it. So it will create a site. And if you open this report, open with web browser. Always go the web browser so that your experience would be good. OK, so this is the particular thing. OK, I wanted to show you about the Surefire report. So how many test cases are there and how much success rate and those kind of stuff. It will be available over here. So this is the one. OK, I wanted to show. So it will consolidate from your Surefire report based on your test uh, XML, ng result XML, and your test suite XML. And it will be creating a site. That's why we are giving MV inside. And it will create a web version of your report simple as it is so any doubts here so far 
Okay, so what is the use of this web version? Yes, okay. What we'll do in VM, we'll create it out. So those errors, don't mind about it. So this is the class exception for Safari driver and other stuff. Obviously, we are not using, so not an issue. Okay, so we are going to create it over here. Show fire, hyphen report, colon report. Planning for the project, again downloading, okay. Yeah, this one is happening, okay, that's fine. That's great. So your Surefire report is created. Okay, build success, simple. This is what I want to show you. So this generates the HTML report of it. Now let's check it out. Okay, so let's try to refresh your project. FI I'm giving or right click, refresh it out. So inside your target, you get your site. Yeah, that's great. Surefire report, simple, okay. I'm sorry, I opened it directly. So always whenever first time when you open, right click open with web browser, simple. So this is what it is opening. So I need to waste it, simple. So this can all happen only with the help of reporting tag. If you don't have the reporting tag, it will not happen. And also one significant difference, this might be an interview question as well. Maybe at the last section, we'll see it up. What is the difference between your report and report only? Simple. So your report will run your test case and generate the report and your report only will only build your reports. Simple as it is. That's it. Okay. So you can also like, uh, for an example, I can show you report hyphen only. That's it. It will build only the report. It will not run your test case as in previously. So here the test has been run, right? Now you can see the test is not running. Okay, it's just build your report. You can see the difference over here. This tag or whatever available over here as a test, it's not available over here. That means like your test case is not running. Whatever the test case previously has run, it generates the report. Simple, that's it out, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Hope the covered topics will help you in your career development and growth. See you in our next video.